the mystery of Cryptus. Chapter 1. The Call to Action James Hawk, a retired CIA agent, was enjoying the tranquility of his secluded cabin in the mountains of Virginia when his old life abruptly came calling. A confidential envelope, marked with the unmistakable seal of the CIA, arrived at his doorstep, disrupting the serene retirement he had grown accustomed to. Inside was a letter from his former director, requesting his immediate assistance in solving a matter of national security, the mystery of the Cryptus sculpture. Cryptus, a cryptic sculpture created by artist Jim Sanborn, stood in the courtyard of the CIA headquarters in Langley. Since its installation in 1990, it had become one of the agency's most enigmatic secrets. The sculpture comprised a wavy metal screen with four encrypted messages, of which only three had been publicly solved. The unsolved fourth part, known as K4, had stumped cryptographers for decades. Compelled by a sense of duty and the allure of the unsolved puzzle, Hawk returned to Langley. Upon his arrival, he was introduced to Emily Porter, a brilliant young cryptographer and mathematician who had made significant progress in unraveling Cryptus's secrets. Emily, a Harvard graduate with a penchant for classical ciphers and modern encryption, viewed Cryptus as the ultimate challenge. Hawk and Emily quickly realized that their task was more than an intellectual exercise. Recent intelligence suggested that Cryptus held a clue to a covert operation from the Cold War, one that involved international espionage and the potential exposure of long-hidden truths. The urgency to solve K-4 had become a matter of national security. As they delved into the mystery, Hawk's experience in field operations and Emily's cryptographic skills complemented each other. They began by revisiting the first three salt sections of Cryptus, looking for patterns or themes that might provide insight into the elusive K-4. The sculpture's creator, Sanborn, had hinted that understanding the entire structure was key to unlocking its final secrets. Their investigation led them to explore various cryptographic techniques, from polyalphabetic ciphers to more complex encryption methods. They pored over historical records, looking for connections between the sculpture's creation and global events of the time. Hawk's knowledge of Cold War espionage provided context to their findings, suggesting that Cryptus might be more than a mere artistic endeavor. The breakthrough came when they identified a pattern in the sculpture's layout that mirrored a specific espionage event from the late 1980s. This discovery led them to believe that K-4 might contain information about a clandestine operation that had been kept secret even from most within the CIA. However, their progress did not go unnoticed. Unbeknownst to them, a former KGB operative, known only as the Wolf, had also been trying to crack Cryptus's code. The Wolf, who had since become a mercenary for hire, believed that K-4 held information that could be leveraged for power and profit. His network of spies and informants kept him informed of Hawk and Emily's advancements. As Hawk and Emily unraveled the intricacies of K-4, they became increasingly aware of the dangers surrounding their quest. Mysterious break-ins at Emily's office and veiled threats made it clear that their pursuit of Cryptus's secrets had put them in the crosshairs of a dangerous adversary. The chapter concludes with Hawk and Emily making a significant discovery in the cipher, one that necessitated a visit to an old Cold War era safe house that Hawk was familiar with. As they prepared for their journey, they knew they were stepping into a world of shadows and intrigue, where every answer would lead to more questions and where danger lurked in the pursuit of truth. Chapter 2 Decoding the Past 
James Hawk and Emily Porter, now deep in their investigation, spent countless hours in a secure room at the CIA headquarters, surrounded by stacks of cryptographic texts, historical records, and digital simulations of the cryptus sculpture. The second part of their mission involved not only decoding the enigmatic K4 segment, but also understanding its historical and geopolitical significance. The pair revisited the first three deciphered messages of Cryptus, which provided clues about intelligence and espionage. These earlier segments, though solved, were complex and nuanced, hinting at deeper layers of meaning. Emily's expertise in cryptanalysis and pattern recognition allowed them to uncover subtle references to historical events, particularly from the Cold War era, which Hawk was intimately familiar with. As they delved further into the K4 segment, they employed various decryption methods, ranging from frequency analysis to advanced computational algorithms. They tested theories about the cipher, including speculation that it involved a visionary tableau or a matrix transposition system. Each hypothesis brought them closer to understanding Sanborn's intricate design, but also raised new questions. Their breakthrough came when they aligned the K4 segment with a specific historical event, the fall of the Berlin Wall. They discovered that the cipher's structure mirrored intelligence reports from that period, suggesting that Cryptus was more than a cryptographic challenge, it was a chronicle of hidden espionage activities. Meanwhile, the threat from the wolf intensified. Surveillance footage and intercepted communications revealed that his operatives were closing in on their location. The wolf's background as a KGB operative gave him a unique perspective on the potential secrets hidden within Cryptus, making him a formidable adversary. Hawk's skills from his days as a field agent became crucial as they navigated this threat. He implemented counter-surveillance measures and established secure lines of communication. However, the increasing danger prompted discussions about moving their research to a safer location. Amidst their cryptographic endeavors, Hawk and Emily also explored the artist behind Cryptus, Jim Sanborn. They delved into his past, looking for motives or inspirations that could have influenced his work. Interviews with Sanborn's associates and reviews of his other artworks provided insights into his fascination with hidden messages and historical secrets. As they pieced together the puzzle, the duo realized that Cryptus was not just a standalone project, it was part of a larger narrative Sanborn had been exploring through his art. This revelation opened new avenues of investigation, suggesting that other works by Sanborn might hold additional clues to solving K4. Their research was put to the test when a break-in occurred at the CIA headquarters. Sensitive files related to Cryptus were compromised, underscoring the urgency of their mission. Hawk and Emily suspected the wolf's involvement and realized that the race to solve K4 was also a race against a dangerous enemy who sought to use its secrets for ulterior motives. The chapter culminates in a tense situation where Emily is briefly kidnapped by one of the wolf's operatives during a field investigation. Hawk, drawing upon his old contacts and skills, manages to track down and rescue her in a daring operation. This incident marks a turning point as it becomes clear that their quest has far-reaching implications beyond the realms of cryptography and art. Following Emily's rescue, the team makes a crucial decision to relocate their operation to an off-the-grid facility equipped with state-of-the-art technology and security. This move marks a new phase in their mission, as they now work against the clock and under the constant threat of the wolf's shadow looming over them. As the chapter closes, 
Hawk and Emily, now in their new secure location, redouble their efforts to decode K4. They are more determined than ever, knowing that the solution to Cryptus could unveil secrets that have the power to reshape historical understanding and potentially alter the course of global intelligence operations. Chapter 3 The Shadow of the Wolf The secure facility, nestled in an undisclosed location, became a fortress of cryptography as James Hawk and Emily Porter intensified their efforts to solve Cryptus' final message. The stakes were higher than ever, with the knowledge that the wolf, a ghost from Hawk's past, was relentlessly pursuing the same goal. Hawk, with his years of field experience, knew they were dealing with a master strategist in the wolf. His former KGB adversary had a reputation for ruthlessness and brilliance, making him a dangerous opponent. Hawk and Emily needed to not only solve K4, but also anticipate the wolf's moves. As they delved deeper into the cipher, Emily's analytical mind made critical connections between the unsolved segment and historical espionage tactics. She hypothesized that K4 might employ a concealment cipher, a method used to hide messages within innocuous text, a technique she believed Sanborn could have adapted for the sculpture. Their breakthrough came when they decoded a section of K4 that referenced a covert operation during the late stages of the Cold War. This operation, unknown to the public and deeply classified, had been a critical moment in Hawk's career. The revelation brought back a flood of memories and provided crucial context for their investigation. Meanwhile, the wolf intensified his efforts to disrupt their work. Using a network of spies and informants, he launched a series of cyber attacks and disinformation campaigns aimed at destabilizing the CIA and discrediting Hawk and Emily. Hawk, familiar with the wolf's tactics, countered these moves with his own set of deceptive strategies, creating a smokescreen to protect their research. The psychological warfare escalated, with the wolf sending cryptic messages and taunts to Hawk, trying to lure him into a trap. Each message was a chess move in a game of high stakes, pushing Hawk to confront the unresolved issues from his past. Amidst this tense atmosphere, Hawk and Emily continued their work on K-4. They discovered that the operation referenced in this cipher was linked to a series of events that had almost led to an international incident. The operation had involved the recovery of a stolen piece of technology that, if made public, could have drastically altered the global power balance. As they pieced together the puzzle, they realized that Cryptus was more than a cryptographic enigma, it was a testament to the shadowy world of espionage. Sanborn had cleverly woven a narrative into the sculpture that reflected the delicate dance of intelligence agencies during one of the most tumultuous periods in modern history. The chapter reaches its climax when Emily is captured by the wolf's operatives during a visit to her family. The abduction sends Hawk into a race against time. He knew that Emily's knowledge of K-4 made her an invaluable asset to the wolf. Hawk, calling upon old contacts and utilizing skills he hadn't exercised in years, embarked on a daring mission to rescue Emily. The operation led him to an abandoned industrial complex where Emily was being held. In a tense and dramatic rescue, Hawk outmaneuvered the wolf's operatives, saving Emily and securing a data drive she had managed to conceal, containing critical information on K-4. Their return to the facility was a sobering reminder of the dangers they faced. The team, now more determined than ever, doubled their efforts. They pieced together the final parts of the K-4 puzzle, 
revealing a shocking truth about the stolen technology and its implications. As the chapter concludes, Hawk and Emily, with the soft K4 in hand, prepare to make their findings public. They knew that revealing the truth about the operation and the technology involved would have far-reaching consequences. But they also believed in the importance of bringing the truth to light to prevent the manipulation of history and the potential misuse of the information hidden within Cryptus. Chapter 4 Unveiling the Truth In a secure room at the CIA headquarters, James Hawk and Emily Porter faced the culmination of their exhaustive investigation. The final segment of the Cryptus sculpture, K4, had been deciphered, revealing a message that linked directly to a covert Cold War operation involving a stolen piece of technology. This technology, the message implied, had the potential to alter geopolitical landscapes. As they prepared to bring this revelation to light, they knew they were stepping into a maelstrom that could shake the foundations of international intelligence agencies. The risk was compounded by the fact that the wolf, who had been a shadow over their entire investigation, was now more desperate than ever to seize the information for himself. Hawk, leveraging his experience and connections, arranged for a secure meeting with senior CIA officials. The meeting, held in a clandestine location, was to disclose the findings and discuss the implications. However, as they made their way to the meeting, they were ambushed by the wolf and his operatives. In a secluded warehouse, the wolf confronted Hawk and Emily, demanding the information they had uncovered. The wolf revealed his intentions to use the secrets of Cryptus to leverage power among various intelligence factions. His vision was a new world order, where he held sway over global intelligence operations. In a dramatic turn of events, Hawk used his skills as a negotiator and strategist to engage the wolf in a dialogue, buying time and looking for an opportunity to turn the tables. He argued that the revelation of Cryptus's secrets would do more harm than good, potentially triggering international conflicts and destabilizing governments. As the tense standoff continued, Emily, using her sharp wit and cryptographic knowledge, discreetly communicated with CIA backup forces using a coded language. This covert communication led to a surprise intervention by CIA operatives who stormed the warehouse and apprehended the wolf and his team. With the wolf in custody, Hawk and Emily proceeded to the meeting with the CIA officials. There, they presented their findings, revealing the truth behind the K-4 segment and its historical significance. The revelation was met with a mix of astonishment and concern as the officials realized the impact of this information on national and global security. The decision was made to classify the details of the cryptus decryption. While the academic and cryptographic community would know that K4 had been solved, the actual content and its implications would remain a closely guarded secret. Hawk and Emily agreed, understanding that the dissemination of such information could lead to unforeseen and potentially dangerous consequences. In the aftermath, Hawk and Emily were commended for their bravery and contribution to national security. However, they both felt a sense of unease, knowing the weight of the secrets they now carried. The story concludes with Hawk and Emily back at the CIA headquarters, standing before the Cryptus sculpture. They reflected on their journey, the intellectual challenge of decryption, the dangers they had faced, and the moral dilemmas of their discoveries. Hawk looking at the enigmatic sculpture, realized that Cryptus was more than a cryptographic puzzle. It was a symbol of the complexities and ambiguities of the world of espionage. 
For Emily, the experience was a profound journey into the heart of historical secrets and the responsibilities that come with uncovering them. As they walked away from Cryptus, Hawk and Emily knew that their adventure had come to an end, but the echoes of their discovery would resonate throughout their lives and the corridors of the CIA. The mystery of Cryptus was solved, but the truths it unveiled would forever remain in the shadows, a hidden chapter in the annals of espionage history. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.